All right, y'all, it is ban list season again. It looks like it's going to be updated on October 28th. And let's get into what this ban list means for the metagame, which, spoilers alert, it's not too much. So first off, we got the cards to be semi-limited here. So Strategist's Long Wand is going to two. This basically means Sword Soul is going to be slightly less consistent. If you're like me and you run Pot of Desires, now you have a chance that you can actually banish both your Long Wands, which that scares me just a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to continue running Desires in the deck despite that, but Long Wand being limited to two is basically a slap on the wrist for the deck. Like they could have done much worse to it. They could have hit uh, the spell. They could have put Long Wand to one. Long Wand to two is a slap on the wrist. Next, we have Branded Opening to 2. So, this card being at 2, I don't think is going to hurt Branded too much. Again, I think it's a slap on the wrist. Um, it does mean that you only have 2 Branded Opening. So, whenever you are uh, resolving... Uh, there's that one, like, Despy Effect where you can send a Branded card to... De oh, the Dragon. I'll be in the Dragon. Um, when you send a card... Uh, from deck to grave for his return to deck effect to draw a card for consistency. Uh, it does mean that you might not want to send Branded Opening now because you only have two copies. But I don't think Branded is going to be hurt very badly by this. Like, not at all, honestly. It's a very minor, minor, minor hit. Uh, next we have Flandery is a Magnificent Map being hit to two so this card being put to two um it is gonna hurt the deck they do have the uh they do have the quick play spell for searchability now uh and i believe the quick play spell um can search the field spell let's double check so we know i'm not a liar uh, but even with that um, even with that, I do feel like the deck is going to be hurt a decent amount. I want Flunderbreeze Monster, one Field Spell, yeah. So, having to run two copies, I do feel like it's going to hurt the deck a little bit. Um, I don't think the deck is going to be dead. I definitely think the deck is still going to be played. Uh, it's going to suck to only have two copies, but it, it just means that the quick play is going to be like a must at three because you might have to search that field spell to really give yourself the field you need or the explosive plays you need. But um, I do feel like out of the three, I think Flunderies actually might be getting hurt the worst, uh, Sword Soul second worst, and then Branded Despia just kind of gets a slap on the wrist. Uh, so cards for which the limit on the number of copies will be lifted. So these are all going back to three. So Prank Kid Roxy's. I actually feel like this is fair. I feel like with the Adventure Engine uh, hit more, I feel like uh, Roxy's can actually come back to three and Prank Kids won't be completely oppressive like they were before in the format. Because Prank Kids were like riding that tier one train for a long time in uh, the Master Duel format. But now that we have Branded and with Sword Soul still staying in the meta and still being so dominant and Flunder also being a thing, but to a lesser extent, I feel like Prank Kids can have Roxy's back at three. Uh, so Sky Striker, Mecha, Widow Anchor. Um, I do not like Sky Strikers. I do not like playing against Stri Sky Strikers, but I do feel like they needed Widow Anchor at three to be more competitive in the meta. So I feel like giving Sky Striker back Widow Anchor will make the deck uh, more competitive and more playable because I really didn't see um, many Sky Striker decks at all on the ladder outside of Platinum. Like as soon as I hit Diamond, the number of them just dropped drastically. And I feel like uh, Widow Anchor at 3 will allow them to be at a much higher level. So next we have Phantom Knight Torn Scales. Uh, I don't play Phantom Knights. Uh, I do know that Torn Scales is a decent card for them. Um, from what my friends that have played Phantom Knights told me that this is going to help them uh, quite a bit. 
It's not going to give them as much power as full power Phantom Knight Adventure had, but I do feel like uh, Torn Scales coming back to three is going to allow the deck to actually see play again, so I do feel like that is pretty fair. And next we have Virtual World Roshi Lao Lao going back to three. I also feel like that's fair because VW has kind of been dead after losing VFD and uh, Halle Fibrex. Uh, the deck has kind of struggled, and I have literally not seen it at all on the ladder, even in Platinum. Like, even in Platinum, it has been absent. And I went from uh, Plat 1 to Diamond 5 uh, relatively quickly, and I'm still in Diamond and climbing through Diamond right now. But I haven't seen uh, a Virtual World at all, so I feel like giving it back some of its cards is what it really uh, deserves at this point. But yeah. That's it for uh, the new Forbidden Band list that is going to be live on October 28th. Um, if you agree with me or disagree with me or just want to say that my uh, takes on this are bad, uh, leave a comment down below. Leave a like, leave a dislike, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.